Welcome back, Wonderlanders. It is officially day one of our vacation. Yep. <laughs> it is. And I feel so much better. I slept like a rock last night. We slept really good. I think we finally closed our eyes at like 10.50, almost 11 o'clock. Got a full night's sleep. Woke up at 6 a.m and now we're raring to go. It is just shy of 8.25, so we're gonna make this really short because we need to get on the Skyliner to head to Epcot. Early entry starts at 8.30, and we have a breakfast reservation for the Garden Grill at the Land Pavilion, and that is a family-style breakfast with Mickey, Pluto, Chip, and Dale. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a play off of like, their harvest and yeah. we are enjoying the abundance of their harvest. And doesn't, doesn't the restaurant spin? I guess slowly spin? It slowly spin. So I'm yeah. really excited to do that. It's been years and I don't think you've ever done that, nope. have you? Okay. First Perfect. time for me. Go get some breakfast. Let's go get some breakfast, guys. Before we head to the parks, we are going to do our OOTD outfit of the day. Christopher is up first. Honey, what do we got? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I mean, I do know. I don't know. I said, I don't know. Like, the coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Once yeah. it does, I'll be chipper, but fanny pack. The child. I got this on eBay. It was a steal. I bid like $10 less, and I got it. Nice. So, you know me. I'm on a fanny pack kick right now. And then my nice shirt that also has, if you can see, there has is. Grogu. The child. See? You know, the child fanny pack, child shirt. And then I've finally broken in my Nike Air Maxes, so I'm gonna take them for a spin in the park, and hopefully it's nice. They're comfortable. The thing with Nikes is, is you have to like really wear them in. Mm -hmm. But I think I look good. Got my neck fan. Yes, it's gonna be humid today. It's gonna be hot. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. And then you know my accessory. What a ball. Stay hydrated. Yeah, you have to. We like to start. We like to fill this up with Powerade first. Get our electrolytes. Once it's empty, let's go to the water filling stations, fill it up with water. We brought some Mio to kind of put it in there. And if you're really nice, some of the cast members at some of the quick service stands will give you a couple bites. So, but I think I look good. I don't know. Do, am I giving off flower and garden vibes? Put it in the comments, guys. Is he giving flower and garden vibes? I think so. I mean, some might say I'm giving like Hollywood studio vibes because of the Star Wars stuff, but it's floral. And we're staying at the Caribbean beach. You are in theme. Yeah, I tend to be, I tend to be. Okay, my turn. It's your turn? All right, I'll show everyone. And there she is. Okay, and back on me. I look so good, yes. Okay, anyways. So we have Disney mini ears. I got these back in 2018, I think. Now these are really tight on my head, so I don't know how long they're gonna last. This is a beautiful Disney floral t-shirt that I found off of eBay. Very nice. Because flower garden. And these are the Abercrombie dad jeans. They are long, so. <laughs> Wait, really are they really them. called dad jeans? They're called dad jeans. <laughs> yeah, that's the style. The girls who know, they know. And then I have these New Balance sneakers on. Um, I can't remember the name of them, but I will link them in the description for you guys. I have been testing out a couple different sneakers and I walk in these at home and they're fantastic. So I'm really excited to walk in the parks and then, you know, watch Wedding Ring, Magic Band. So I'm ready to roll. You forgot the sass. The sass? Yeah, I'm just joking. We have no sass in Disney. I don't have sass. I'm just excited. I'm just a bubbling, bubbling guppy. She's lying. I'm just joking. She's a beautiful person and I love her. And I'm hungry. So I am starving yeah so let's get to breakfast guys let's go get the skyliner it looks kind of it looks kind of gloomy right now. It like, does. Like it looks like it's gonna rain later, but we checked, it's Florida, so it, it, it might change, but we checked the weather, uh, radar forecast, it's just gonna be overcast. And then it's gonna yeah. kind of open up with sun around uh, like three. 
and so then it's gonna hit 90. That's, that's gonna be hot. Yeah. But I have my neck fan, so do you, so yeah. your backpack, so we're kind of prepared, but yeah. I'm ready. I'm telling you, that that night's sleep last night was so Game needed. Game changer. I feel so much yeah. better. I mean, we were gone for about 18 hours. That's insane hours. when you think about that. That's a that's a long time. I mean, when I was going. a chef, that was like a normal day for me. I know, but not for me. My God. And I really didn't have a meal until like four or five o'clock when we had dinner. So yeah, everything else from there was kind of just like snacking. Yeah. But I'm excited for today. What's the uh, What's the number one thing you're looking forward to today? Honestly. I really want to do the butterfly garden. It's one yeah. thing, uh, so the last time I experienced flower and garden was 2018 in that series. It was a long time ago. That was before I met Chris and before Wonderland was even a thing. A long time ago. A long time ago. And I never did the butterfly garden. So I'm really excited to go in there and see the beautiful butterflies. I'm a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I want to show you the station, guys. Look how pretty this is. I mean, yeah, some people might, you know, hum and haul the fact that if you're in Trinidad, you have to walk about 10 minutes to the Skyliner, but I don't mind it. I think I it's a nice walk. You walk all day anyways when you're in Disney. I get it, though, coming yep. back like at night. Because we kind of experienced that at Pop that one time we stayed. We were on the other side of the resort. Yeah. But it's like a 10 minute walk. Yeah. This is and nice. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. All right, guys. Catch you on the Skyliner. Yeah. La, la, la. Just singing. <laughs> He's been singing all morning, guys. I have. <laughs> the Figment song, Imagination. I think that's what it's called. Ever since we got off that ride yesterday, it's been stuck in my head. I've been like whistling, singing in the shower. Like, it's, <laughs> excuse me. It's a catchy tune. It is. There is a Joffrey station here at the Caribbean Beach Skyliner station. So that's convenient. We're not going to get a coffee. We had coffee in the room. Yeah. But it's good to know. Also, co uh, coffee. Joffrey's is better than Starbucks. I don't care. I don't care. What anyone says, Joffrey's is better than Starbucks. You know what? I'd like to settle this debate. Please put it in the comments if you're Starbies or you're Joffrey's. Joffrey's. That's like if you're on Disney <laughs> property, it's gotta be Joffrey's. Joffrey's or Starbucks. Me personally, I'm a Starbucks person. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna know what you guys are. Morning. Thank you. Welcome aboard, Islanders. You are on the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with continuing flights to Epcot. I wanted to jump on here before we got into the park and just let you guys know our plan for today. Uh, it is 8.53 and we are on route for our Garden Grill breakfast reservation. That's at 9.25. So that'll be the first thing that we do in Epcot. Shortly after, I did get a virtual queue for Gardens of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. And we will probably be called either at the in the middle of breakfast or towards the end of breakfast. Now, whenever you get called for a virtual queue, you do have a full hour to get back to that ride. Now, I also did a paid lightning lane for Gardens of the Galaxy because it is my husband's favorite ride. And because our plan was thrown all over the place yesterday, I promised him that we would do that twice today. So we have a paid lightning lane for Guardians between 5.30 and 6.30. Again, when you buy the lightning lane, you also have an hour window to use that. So, and then obviously after um, breakfast and Guardians, we'll be covering as much as we can from this flower and garden festival. Anything to add at this point, Mr. Jared? 
No. I think you did a great job. I'm excited for your day. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna go through the pass holder entrance here. Not like we need to, but you know, just because. <clears throat> Good, even though that it wasn't necessary. Really good. That line. <laughs> All right, so uh, I forget where we're going right now. We're going to breakfast. Yeah, we gotta go to breakfast. So we have about 20 minutes to get there. I'm struggling, guys. Yeah, I think we need some coffee and some protein, some eggies. And... I just need some beer. Oh my god. Well, that'll be a good question. Can you get a beer at the Garden Grill for breakfast? Chris will find out. <laughs> I'm doing this for y'all. <laughs> well, I think you can because, I mean, every sit down. Disney's like you, airport rules. You can get alcohol whenever you want to. Basically. That is true. Well, it is after nine o'clock, so. We'll find out. Our excuse is we're on vacation. But let me show you guys some of these flowers. Did you find something? Yeah. <laughs> That is super cute. He's got, little a little, he's got a little weird stitching there. I'm gonna get another one. But basically it's a little like button down. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah. Like There's bumblebee. Spike. Cute. And it is $44.99. So, not bad. Samantha's first purchase. So we were about to leave and I saw all this stuff. Look at the Pizza Planet gear. So this is $58. Oh, that's really cool. And it's a lounge fly. But I'm not a big backpack guy. I like my uh, my fanny packs, my bum bags. It's cute. Little well, sweater. Oh, that's really cool. How much is it? This one is $44.99. Oh, check out the oven mitts. And then you got another one too. It's cute. It's like a little uh, ticket for the food. And then this oh, that's one really is cool. $44.99. So, it's like a his and her set. Look at these oven mitts. It's a rocket ship. That's cute. Look, I'm not one to have Disney memorabilia too much throughout the house, but I might get this. It you is $19.99. Ooh, the socks are cool. Yeah, the socks are cool. That's more of your alley. What's this? What's this? Cheesy Invasion. Mm -hmm. and these are $16.99. Well, then you get your annual pass discount. Yeah. We might have to come back. Okay. I also really like this cup. Oh, you like a cup, do you? Yeah, now, guys, at home, Chris gets on me for how many cups I bring well, home. Because you have like 50. <laughs> we have an entire cabinet dedicated to cups for Samantha. So, and then I okay. guess this is a journal, but it's supposed to look like a... Oh, oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, it is a notepad, but it's like tickets for... Like a restaurant ticket. Yeah. That's cute. 1995, I'm guessing that's when it came out. Yes. Yeah, the first Toy Story movie. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go, we're getting distracted here. Yeah, we gotta go, go uh, get some food. So from the entrance there, you can walk down either the left or the right side. And the Garden Grill restaurant will be on the second level. 
and Chris and I did mobile check-in, so we're just waiting for our table to be called. Oh yeah, very much so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, welcome back. It's the best ride at Disney. So you sit back and relax. All the food's gonna oh, come to oh, you. Oh, good. Yes, Chip and Dale's Harvest Feast. I'm gonna keep it coming, so you can let me know what you like the most. Okay. What you need your glory today is not my fault. <laughs> All right, we're still gonna see our friends Mickey, Pluto, Chip, and Dale today. Can't wait. Okay. Are we using a dining plan? Today? Yes. Okay. So your dining plan does include your alcoholic beverage and your non-alcoholic beverage. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes. So we do have a limited bar with beer and wine. We also can do a nice mimosa with our beer. orange or our orange. We can do our citrus freeze that has our orange vodka and mango puree. Which is delicious. Ooh, that sounds delightful. And also a Bloody Mary if you'd like as well. This is cool. This is so neat. So. It, it, the restaurant is moving. I don't know. I'm gonna see, you, I can feel it. I'm gonna see if I can show y'all. So if you kind of look at the yellow line, hmm, it's kind of hard to see, I guess. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it. But it's very, very slow. I absolutely love this restaurant so much that I just wanted to give you all just a really quick tour of the outskirts of it just so you can kind of get a feel and understanding of what this really is. Now don't forget that this restaurant sits on like a carousel so it spins very slowly. You can't really feel it that much. I mean you know that you're turning but it spins you through living with the land and you get to see some of the places in the ride and I just think it's super cool that you're able to actually see parts of the ride. Let me just give you all a little walk around so you kind of get a better understanding. I mean that's what the boats are down there. How cool is this everyone? Guys this is so neat. I'm a big fan of like behind the scenes type of stuff with Disney and you can kind of see the ceiling a little bit. It's just really neat and like I said it's just a different perspective of this ride. You can see the groundhogs over there? Right there? That's <laughs> so cool. I wanted to show you guys, I don't know if you can see but you can see in the room. You can see that there's a bed. Super neat, everyone. This is really neat. This is a nice way to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> we started in front of the farmhouse and living with the land with the dog that just never shuts up. So yeah, sorry about the barking guys. So I'm looking forward to moving past the part where he's barking. It's not bad though, I, I, I like it. It's just very different and really cool to see this ride from a different point of view. Yeah. It's really neat. I am very glad we came here. Yeah. So we'll probably pick it back up when we get our food or if we see a character first because the characters are this thing yeah. everybody. So yep. and let's show you all what we just got. Mm -hmm. I got the passion fruit guava mimosa. We're really bad at not paying attention when the servers tell us stuff. I just heard mimosa and I was like, yes! I mean, it's a mimosa, right? And what'd you get? Gingling. So, I wanted to get beer. Cheers to our Flower and Garden Festival Day. Cheers, baby. Alright, so they gave us fresh watermelon. Like slices almost. Yeah. And then this looks really interesting. This she said smells it was a so cinnamon good. bread with the caramel drizzle. Look at that, y'all. It Look smells unreal. How good that looks. And it's nice and warm. Alright, so now we're gonna dive in to the cinnamon bread with the caramel drizzle. Okay, okay, my oh friend. man, here we More go. More food's Get coming. On the buffet. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Food keeps coming. Well, within 20 minutes, we got everything. So yeah. let me show you guys real quick. 
We have the breakfast skillet, and like she said, Mickey waffles, there's potatoes under there, the uh, steak ranchero, scrambled eggs, bacon. We didn't even have time to try the cinnamon bread before everything showed up. Let's start with the, let's start with the cinnamon bread. Yeah, let's, let's go. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh my God. Chip! Chip! Oh my Chris! goodness. Definitely Great the star. Chip! How are you? Let me get in here. I want to get in here too. I know, I gotta move. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> How you been? On, my oh, friend? the cinnamon bread. We just tried the cinnamon bread. Amazing. Did you make it? Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> oh, you were tasting. Licking it. the spoon, too. I see. Yeah, I, see. I bet. I don't know what's he barking at. <laughs> he just goes and goes and goes. <laughs> I hope he doesn't chase you. I hope he doesn't. Nah. Okay, good. Uh, well, he's fast. Well, you are fast. I think at this point they're probably friends, you know? Yes, right? He's yeah. the friendly the friendly pup, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, thank you, you Chip. So much, Chip. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we're about to dig in. We're hungry. Oh, thank Bye, you. <laughs> All right, I I'm going to try another bite of the cinnamon bread. I got like a crust. Oh, it's delicious. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to try it like a centerpiece because it had the texture of almost like a, like cake, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> The flavor's good. It's it's the texture that's kind of throwing me off. It's not bad. I want some of the steak, and then oh, there's the potatoes. Okay, so it's a shredded like potato casserole. Almost. Mm. Yeah. Sorry guys, this is kind of be like rapid fire. We don't want to miss the characters. And... Oh, here he comes. Dale. You just saw your better half, or no? Maybe you're the better half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're the better half. All right, now your brother said that you were messing around in the kitchen and you didn't make anything. Is that true? No. So you did help in the kitchen. Okay. Like, oh, oh, you did okay, the, bacon. the bacon. I can see you as a bacon. Yeah. I can yeah. See you as a bacon. <laughs> Perfect. You're the bacon guy. Okay. Okay. So your brother was lying. So we caught him in a lie. Uh huh. He's like, uh uh, I helped. I did the bacon. It is perfect. I know my job. <laughs> the dog just won't stop barking. What's the dog? <laughs> Hold on. He's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what he's barking at. Dale, you, you, you need to get him into some dog training, really. Really, sir. <laughs> yeah. Put uh -oh. him in the kitchen. Maybe he'll shut up. The <laughs> end of him. Oh. The end. Take him out. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Dale. Have a good one. <laughs> Man, these characters this is are just rapid bam, fire. Bam, 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 coming. So now we got Pluto and Mickey. We'll, we'll eat our food at some point. Mm. Okay, eggs are good. All right, I want to try these potatoes. They look interesting. Hash browns, but casserole style. They're like shredded. Mmm. I like that. Whoa. It's peppery. And garlicky too. Oh, that's what I taste, the garlic. It's garlicky. Oh, that's the steak. It's got some type of sauce on it. I forgot what she said it was. Ranchero. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, it's like roast beef. Last night's steak was better, mm. but I think it was a different cut. This is a skirt steak, I think. Yeah, it's not bad. It's tender. Mm -hmm. We're gonna kind of continue eating this. And then I'm pretty sure within the next five minutes we're gonna have another character, so we'll see you then. But we want to enjoy this food. Enjoy our breakfast. The man, the myth, the legend, Mickey. I love your overalls, my friend. They are stunning. Hold on, let these guys catch up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let the folks go through. You have a through. very busy restaurant, my good sir. Everyone's coming in and having your good breakfast. So Mickey, I asked Chip and Dale, I think you're the boss man, so I think you can do something about it. The dog, he doesn't stop barking. What's up with that? What's he barking at? It's not Pluto. I know it's not Pluto. Oh yeah, Pluto's a good boy. He would never do that. He would never do that. But maybe, maybe, how about this? Have Pluto talk to the dog for it. Look at that. He's right there. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll ask Pluto and I'll see what he can do. I think that's the move. Gotta the dog, the yeah. number one, the oh, yeah. original man's best friend. The best of all the best best boys. I know, we're just hyping you up, Pluto. Stop. So I want right? to ask you a question, Pluto, because I know you're the dog, and I know you got pulled with a lot of other dogs. What's up with the dog over there? He just doesn't <laughs> stop barking by That's the that house. That house, that house back there. I'm pretty sure you've talked to him already, but he's just not listening. <laughs> I don't get it. 
He's a he's got something to say. I'll tell you that. Yeah, he really does. I don't I don't mind too much, but just sometimes you're just like, what is he barking at? I don't get it. You're the goodest boy. You gotta you gotta teach him some manners. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take a photo real quick, Pluto? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. That was a little chaotic, but it was really fun. It was like back to back to back. <laughs> To back characters. Chris and I like scarfed out our food real quick. Well, honestly, I'd rather I'd rather it be like that. Yeah. But sometimes we've been in some character dining restaurants where you're kind of done eating and you're like sitting around like, waiting for them. Where are they gonna come? You know? Yeah. But that was great. Yeah. Hopefully they can fix the dog problem. All the barking. You know. That was really cute. If you know, you know. So we're gonna wrap up breakfast, we're gonna check out, and then we're gonna head to our Guardian's queue. Oh yeah, I can't wait. All right guys, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so that was the Garden Grill with Pluto, Mickey, Chip, and Dale. I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised, not only with the food, but the ambiance. Yeah. I thought that was super neat, how the restaurant spun, and you got to see a different point of view of living with the land. What would you give the food between one and between one and ten? You know, I enjoyed it. I, I'm gonna have to give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten? Yeah. I give it. I give it an eight, eight out of ten as well because the food was cooked perfectly. The steak, the eggs, yeah. those potatoes were absolutely delicious. And I give it an eight out of ten because I'm thinking about the entirety of the experience. The server we had, Sheila, she was amazing. Yeah. Uh, everything came out rapid fire. We saw all of the characters, I think, within like 25 minutes. Oh, yeah, of they kept coming. Down. I like that. The uh, beverages, my mimosa was fantastic. The food was very well prepared. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, what, is it mind blowing food? No. But to have steak, eggs, bacon, a wonderful hash brown casserole, uh, Mickey waffles and drinks, alcoholic the drinks, the fruit and the bread the watermelon for, was delicious. for a, a breakfast, I think is a really good value. Yeah, it came out to $125 for both of us. Yeah. Um, now that was completely free because of the Disney dining plan. Yeah. Uh, we use our uh, sit down credit, each of us, and then our alcoholic beverage. Now yeah. that doesn't have to be alcoholic, it can be a regular drink, but $125. So, so far we're doing pretty good with the Disney dining plan of yeah. kind of getting its value. Yeah, that was great. I'd, I'd go there again for sure. I'd go there again, and I do think it was a good value on the dining plan. Yeah. What would you say? Oh, yeah, hands down for yeah, the dining good plan value. aspect, especially with the alcoholic drinks. Yeah. I got a beer, she got a mimosa. Yeah, it's perfect. And I don't know if we caught it on camera, but she also mentioned that with that location, you can get a... Um, non-alcoholic and an alcoholic beverage with your meal. Now, we just had water, but you could get Coke products, you can get tea. Um, I think they have coffee as well. They have coffee, yeah. Orange so. juice, stuff like that. So now we're gonna go head over to Guardians of the Galaxy. We have a virtual queue. Mm -hmm. Now, we were in the restaurant when our time came up, but we learned something that we didn't know from the cast member, that if you have a virtual queue and you're at a uh, sit down restaurant bring your receipt and show the cast member and they will let you in past that a lot of time So just keep that in mind. Don't stress if you're at a restaurant that You have to finish what you're doing really quickly Just save the receipt and show the cast member at the ride and they will let you in. We'll see you at Cosmic Rewind Epcot Terrence Your scholar, Peter Quill, has been teaching me about your world. He has suggested that if I want to start my journey of understanding the complex and intricate Terran mind, I should look no further than the sage words of a great Terran classic, hooked on a feeling.
September yep. by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Ooh, yep. monorail. We waited about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Uh, we did the virtual queue, but we have a lightning lane later on tonight, yep. so we can do it again. But uh, uh, just man, and it now is so much fun. oh, it is. Uh, it, it really is. It's a great ride. Samantha wanted to ride the front row. You see, she said that I can pick the next row, so y'all know what that means. Yes. If you know anything about this ride, it's row nine. So The more intense. It definitely is. It definitely feels more intense. It becomes the front row, because yeah. as you all know, and if you don't, the, the track ride spins around, so the front row that you start off in becomes the back row. Yeah. But uh, it's more intense. But anyways, great ride. Now we are going to, I don't know, where are we going? We're gonna grab a drink because it's just shy of noon. Yeah. And we need a little caffeine. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to the front of the park and film a little bit of the topiaries over there. Yeah. Um, and then I wanna do the butterfly garden. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about that too. Yeah, and then we'll go into the World Showcase and um, try a bit of the offerings, the yeah. food and what, uh, I was gonna say food and wine. The food and the alcohol beverages. Well, here. I mean, you're not wrong. We can get food and wine. That is true. But it's Flower and Garden. Yeah, so let's do it. All right. Right, guys we finally have a breather and yes the neck fans are out because it's that time of the day but we have a few minutes here to talk about the Disney dining plan now Disney is currently offering two separate dining plans one is called the quick service Disney dining plan and the other is just called the Disney dining plan I'm going to briefly discuss the quick service dining plan now the value of the quick service dining plan is $51 one cent per adult and the value for a child is $23.83 per night of your stay. So for the entirety of your quick service dining plan, you get two quick service meal credits per day, you get one snack credit per day, and you also get one resort refillable mug for your stay. Compared to the Disney dining plan, you get a value of $94.28 per adult per night of your stay, and $26.69 per night for your child. Children ages three to nine fall under the child category. So that means if you have a child that's 10 years old, they would be considered an adult. Now for the Disney dining plan, as I just mentioned, you get one table service credit, one quick service credit, one snack credit per night of your stay. For example, Chris and I have the Disney dining plan. We're staying four nights, five days, which means we have four table service credits each, four snack credits each, four quick service credits each, and we both get a refillable resort month. I think we have some friends that are uh, photo They're all walking by now. Goofy and Minnie. Goofy. Uh, uh, I didn't do it. I don't again. care what anyone says. You're, you're my favorite. It was him. 
And Mickey, you look stunning as usual. You look beautiful. Oh my God, you are. You that are dress. Small, baby. Oh, thank you, man. We love Have you, Minnie. Day. Have a good day. <laughs> That's the best type of photo bomb in Disney. I really believe, uh, and thus far, Chris and I will obviously post a review of what we think about the dining plan, but at least so far, I can speak for myself and say, I think it's worth it. It's really nice to have it prepaid. Um, when you book a Disney package, you do have the option to book your dining plan in addition to your tickets and your resort stay. So I really hope that's helpful for you Wonderlanders. I will link uh, the link to Walt Disney World's dining information in the description below if you want to read it for yourself. If you have any comments or questions about the Disney dining plan, leave those below and I'll be sure to answer those as soon as I can. And of course, Chris and I will give our honest review at the end of the series so you can gauge whether or not this works for you and your family when you come to Disney World. All right, that's enough about the Disney dining plan. We had a little chill. We had a Joffy's coffee. I think it's time to go see some butterflies. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm pumped to see some butterflies. Beautiful butterfly. <laughs> mm -hmm, I'm ready. Before we go to the butterfly garden, I want to give a quick shout out to Marjorie from Canada. It was nice to see you, girl. Hope you enjoyed your trip. That was so cool. <laughs> we were getting coffee at Joffrey's, and she like just tapped us on the shoulder. She's like, oh my god, I watch your vlogs, and it just, my mind's still blown. So shout out to you. I hope you have fun and continue to watch the vlogs. And that's what being a Wonderlander is all about. We're Wonderlanders and so are y'all. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> the butterflies. Let's go get them. Butterflies. All right, since it's 80,000 degrees, we're gonna seek some refuge in the Odyssey Pavilion, which is home to the Citrus Blossom booth for the Flower and Garden Festival. All right, guys, we're sitting down at the Citrus Blossom in the Odyssey. It's hot. It's very hot, so we wanted to come in and seek some refuge. So this is our first flower and garden pub. Um, this is the orange lemon smoothie at the Citrus Blossom. I did Sounds use good. a snack credit, but if you don't use a snack credit, it's only five dollars. Really? So it comes in this little thing. Yes, it is um, offered in an orange bird sipper, and if I can find a picture, I will insert that here but this is what it looks like if you don't buy it with the zipper. I'm surprised you didn't get the zipper. Uh, first of all, I don't want to carry that, I'm sorry. And then it's just gonna like okay. sit at home. This is delightful. Is and it? I'm not, I'm gonna let Chris try this because this reminds me of something and I'll see if my husband thinks the same way his wife does. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh really my good. God. <laughs> and on a day like today, that's like really good. <laughs> It literally tastes like the orange push box. It brings me back to my childhood. That's good. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna go through what I got. I went ahead and got the beer flight. So you get three choices. So the first one's gonna be a Southern Tier Brewing Company Orange Twist Imperial Ale. And it's from Lakewood, New York. So we're gonna try that. <laughs> Woo! gonna be a no for me the first one really yeah that is not good it's really strong I can't describe that alcohol thing. it almost tastes like a four loco like an orange four oh, loco man. try it here tell me what you think hey if I tried it and suffered you gotta try it too right <laughs> it's not good so the next one is going to be the left hand brewing lemon drop shandy and it's from Longmount, Colorado. Okay, a lot better. It doesn't really taste like beer. It almost kind of has like a seltzer flavor. Ooh, it's funky. I kind of like it. With like a funky kick towards the end on the back end, but it's like lemon drop forward with like a funky kick. Yeah. But it doesn't taste like beer. It tastes like, almost tastes like a hard seltzer. It kind of. Right? I think it tastes more like a sour. I could see that. Without yeah. the bubbly, without yeah. the carbonation. Yeah. So that's not bad. We're we're getting better. Hopefully the last one. 
So this is the last one, show you the color. This is, oh, I'm, I, love, I, lo I love this company. Stone Brewing Tangerine Express Hazy IPA, and it's from Escondido, California. I probably butchered that first name. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Are you happy? Uh, that, that makes you is happy. the one, that makes me happy. I'm gonna drink the other ones, but that makes me happy. You wanna try it? She hates I IPAs, guess. but I make her try them anyways. <laughs> We're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer. Our feet are a little bit tired. We're gonna kind of cool off, enjoy these beverages, and then we're gonna head over to. You said you want to go to the Mexico Pavilion? Yes. We're gonna go finish this, hang out, yeah. and we'll see you in the Mexico Pavilion. All right, we are out of the Odyssey, and once you're out of the Odyssey, hang a left into the World Showcase. And we are gonna stop at the Mexican booth for the Flower and Garden Festival. And we're back, Wonderlanders. We just got done getting our food at the Mexican food booth, and we decided to go with the tamale. How good that looks. <laughs> it looks so good. And of course, my personal favorite, flan. And this looks amazing. Look, at, look how good that looks. All that caramel. <laughs> It does so, look really good. Mm -hmm. The Puerto Rican in me is happy. Yeah. So we're going to start the tamale first. It's not bad. It's not the best tamale I've ever had, but it's really good for what Disney's trying to do. It's really good. It's got a nice flavor on the back end. I'd give that a 6 out of 10. I'd give it 5 out of 10, only because, again, I, I've been spoiled when it comes to Latin food. My tia, which is Spanish for aunt, <laughs> making this stuff from scratch and things like that. So, all right, guys, let's tap into the flan. <laughs> this looks really good, and the size is actually you get a lot. It's a big piece. Yeah, I was expecting it to be smaller, but this is really good. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed in the flan. I grew up eating this type of food. But I've been a little spoiled, but I feel like there's too much caramel sauce. It just drowns out the flan. Though the flan is cooked perfectly, the texture is really smooth. It's not like curdled or chunky from it being like overcooked. But too much caramel sauce. All right, everyone, enough about the tamale and flan business. We have some more plans coming up. We're gonna go to the German Pavilion, get some drinks, maybe some chocolate hoppers, kind of go from there. We'll cut it here. In so we're over here at the Baron Market, probably butchered that name, <laughs> but we went ahead and grabbed a couple of drinks and some food. Yeah. So we got the toasted pretzel with ham and cheese, yes. and then we went ahead and got the um, potato pancake with applesauce. I'm excited for that. Then Samantha went ahead and got a raspberry rattler. And I got um, the Heffen. Heffen Stoffner. <laughs> I'm doing a horrible job of pronouncing that, but it's a, basically it's a German beer. I like German yeah. beers. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to take a sip of my beer first. Me too. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> it just makes me want to go ow ow. Oh my god. You know? That's amazing. So I've had this pretzel bread before in 2018. So I know what I'm about to get myself into. I have not had this yet. Well get a it piece. Looks, it's kind of like pull apart. It looks delicious. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. Wash it down with a German beer. <laughs> That's good. I'll get that again. Oh my god, yeah. Alright. Potato pancake next? Yeah. Uh oh. Not 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 good? I think I was just expecting something different. I'm, I'm about as unimpressed as you are. It's like they baked a big pan of potato casserole, chilled it overnight, and then cut like rounds out of it and pan seared it. That's exactly what it tastes like. I'm used to lakas having more of like a bite, more crunch, mm -hmm. not so much as like soft in the middle. Mm -hmm. With that being said though, the flavors are really good. It's not bad. It's tasty. So I'm gonna give the potato a five out of 10, okay. and I'm gonna give my pretzel bread a 10 out of 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the potato pancake a five out of five. Okay. And I think I'm gonna give 
the pretzel uh, bread. I'd give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Okay. So. All right. We're going to finish this Wonderlanders and then our next booth. I think we're going to bypass Italy because Italy has a horrible reputation for their food. Italy's <laughs> food always, for, the food, yeah. for the most part, not good. Yeah. But um, the American Pavilion, Chris, we have a few things on our list. So I think that's going to be our next stop after this. We'll see you then. Cheers. All right, guys. Before we move on, we are going to stop at Caramel Fouche and get some popcorn. Probably a couple snacks to bring to the room because this is amazing. So did you know where the Werther's name came from? I have no idea. It comes from the town that it was made. It was, it was made in like a small German home back in 1909. And after getting some success, they, just, they decided to name the candy after the little town that it was invented in. And at the time, the population was 11,000 people. Wow. That's pretty cool. The more you know. The more you know. All right, you know what? Here's the butter bar. I'm going to do the caramel carrot cake cookie pie. Finally. <laughs> That's it. It goes good. Thank you. I couldn't make up my mind because everything sounds really good here. It does. I mean, look at my... Yeah, I had to get these. <laughs> All right, Wonderlanders. The sun was getting to me. Japan is first, and then Morocco. So, since that is the case, I'm gonna grab my frushi here and take it to the annual pass holder lounge where Chris and I could sit down for a little bit. And then we're gonna head out of here and take a break at the resort, right, honey? Yeah, I'm getting a little tired. Yeah. I also, I can feel a sunburn coming. Yeah. And I'm pasty, so that's not good. Yeah, so we'll retreat for a little bit. Looks like Morocco has a construction wall up right now. But at the end of the wall, looks like there's a little pathway here. Try and find the pass out of lounge. We're going in. We're doing it. <laughs> Got a little place to sit. Oh. <laughs> well, we're in the Passloader Lounge in Morocco. I'll show you guys around in a second, but we need to get down to this. I'm excited for this. Frushi! Now, I've never had frushi before. I understand the concept. Fruit sushi. Mm -hmm. I love sushi. I'm all about it. Now, I want to just give y'all my opinion about this going in. I do not think this is going to be good. I'm sorry. I just, I just, you can't sell fruit sushi to me. But I'm going to try it. So I advise you take a little bit of the whipped cream and a little bit of the syrup. So the whipped cream, the syrup. Bon appetit. <laughs> I don't see what the hype is. I'm sorry, listen, I'm only gonna give, always gonna give my honest opinion. I'm probably gonna upset a lot of people. Yep. <clears throat> it's just rice with fruit. I enjoy it. I like it. It's a very nice and light snack. There's pineapple and strawberry in the middle. Now I will say, I remember it having more fruit in it in the past than I've had this. Yeah, I've seen photos of this with yeah. like bigger pieces of fruit in the middle. Yeah, this is kind of a little roll of so it. So maybe if it had more fruit, but I don't know. Like I said, it's just fruit and rice. I honestly would put this like 5 out of 10. I mean, I like it, but... I'd give it a 2. 
Oh my god, you're gonna give it a two? Yeah, I'm gonna really upset some people. I'm sorry, y'all. And I'm sorry, guys, for the flashing. Um, there's a special character here, and you're seeing the flash from the photography, so yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. We'll take a photo with him in a little bit. Yeah. It's uh, Genie from Aladdin. Yay! All right, we're gonna enjoy this, and then we'll catch you guys when we see Genie. Oh, you're gonna enjoy that. Okay, I'll <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys, a quick plan of the lounge. We have two sides here. We got tables. A couple different booths. It's really nice in here. <laughs> it's air conditioned. <laughs> it feels so good. It does feel really good. The unfortunate part is we really don't have that much time to kind of enjoy it, but it was nice and you also got a pin. Ka chow Look at that. Cute little pass holder pin. So they do cool. they do check your ID and your pass at the door and then they hand you the pin and say have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's meet Jeannie and then skedaddle on out of here. There he is. That was super cool. As much as we wanted to record us interacting with Jeannie, we just wanted to take some photos, which we'll show you. Mm -hmm. But I had to bust his chops. I asked him, Jeannie, you, you have your freedom and you decide to spend it in Disney taking photos with people. You're, you're the man. So Samantha asked Jeannie what she's got to do to get some wishes. And she's point, yeah, he pointed at the lamp. She rubbed it and she wished for it. I wished her for a picture with Jeannie. I wished for a picture with Jeannie. And I wished for another picture with Jeannie. So he took three photos. <laughs> different poses yeah so. that was really cool I gotta admit and I'll insert them here so yeah. as we're talking you guys can view them and I think they were really cute and yeah and that's adorable and that lounge was super super comfy yeah. even though there was a lot of people in there I feel like so much traffic's going in and out mm -hmm. that I mean we found the seat right away so very cool if you're a pass holder definitely recommend checking that out Get your pin. Yep. Relax. They also have refreshments. They have water. Oh, we didn't even. I didn't even know. Um, we're just so full, and yeah. our minds is on the hotel. But they have little um, like trail mix and some small snacks and beverages so you yeah. can get. So and a restroom in there too. So yeah. that's important. That was fun though. I'm glad we did that. Yes. So now it's time to take a break. We're gonna escape the sun for a little bit. Yeah. So let's head back to Caribbean Beach. <sighs> back in the room. Three fifty nine on the nose. Man, if I put my feet in a bucket of ice water, it would start boiling it. <laughs> my dogs are killing me. Dogs are barking? Yep. Yeah. It just feels so good in here. Yeah. It's like 69 degrees in the room. So I think we're going to kind of chill. I'm going to take an ice cold shower and we're going to kind of hang out and get ready to go back into Epcot. But yeah, remember to take breaks, y'all. Seriously. Especially when it's really hot outside. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna hang out for a little bit and then we have to be back at the park no later than like 6.30, 6.35. I bought a premium lightning lane for Guardians of the Galaxy and when you buy that premium lightning lane, you have to pick an hour window. And so that's the end of the window. Um, so we have to be back by then. And uh, Christopher, oh my God. Hello. Come this here. is my all time favorite vacation snack just saying well that's what your wife got for you i put it on the well, uh, you know instacart me so well. order who else loves gushers come on <laughs> i'm a full-grown adult and but it, these are the best notice it's the value pack 12 pouches <laughs> maybe these are probably gone tonight or tomorrow i don't know i can crush these but it, let me know yeah. in the comments who else loves gushers and if they make it part of their vacation routine <laughs> but i'm happy yeah what's your vacation snack i have peanut butter m ms so gushers and his gushers Okay, so we'll catch you guys in about like two, two and a half hours. We're gonna put the camera down and relax, take a shower, refresh, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, guys, 541. We have exactly 45 minutes to get to Epcot before our lightning lane for Guardians expires. But before we leave, we'll do another OOTD of the evening and I'm gonna pan over to Christopher and he can go first so I have my athletic slash running shorts that I bought on Amazon these are super comfortable they have like an inner liner really great when it's hot outside and then I have this really cool shirt 
It's um, a Disney shirt. It's actual official Disney, but I got it on Amazon. Um, you can find some Disney stuff on there, but I think it's really cool. It's all the parks. You have Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Magic. Nice. So, and then I have my Mickey hat. Gotta have the Mickey hat. Mm -hmm. And then I have the unofficial, official Wonderland wear fanny pack, bum bag, sling pack, whatever you want to call it. The unofficial, official Wonderland wear fanny pack. Check out the inside. I just want to show you something cool. So it has two pockets, right? One in the back and then a space in the front. But check it out. It actually says Wonderland wear. So, a little something that Samantha and I are working on, we're kind of testing things out, but I figured I'd uh, rock the uh, first piece of... It's a prototype. Yeah, it's a prototype. <laughs> and so yeah, y'all know how much I love my fanny packs, so I figured why not have a Wonderland wear one. I mean, I am a Wonderland, right? So, I am comfortable and I'm ready to go. And I have a wonderful Old Navy athletic dress that I got my New Balances that I was wearing this morning because they are very comfortable. And then I got this really cute bracelet. Chris, if you want to come in here and show this, I don't know if you can see it. This is a little charm bracelet. And out of all places, I got it off a of QVC. <laughs> so yeah, little charm bracelet. I wanted to show that. So I'm going to wear that tonight. I have my plain leather Mickey ears, little Mickey necklace, and then my normal backpack, so, and my sunglasses. Stunning as always. It's 546 and we have to go to Epcot, so let's go. <laughs> Out we go. It's just absolutely amazing what a nice cold shower and a little just rest in the bed. Little do, AC. Yeah, and the AC mm -hmm. will do to the mind, body, and soul. I feel like a new man right now. Yes. And I'm ready to go back in the parks. All right, guys, we're gonna walk on over to the Skyliner and we'll catch you when we get over there. And we're back, we're back, we're back at Epcot. That's my We're Back at Epcot song. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> All right. Round two. Chris's seat pick. You already know. Send prayers. You already know what I'm going to do. Let pick. you know if I'll survive. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we've been here already. I know. It's deja vu. All right. This time we're going to get conga. Yes. Yeah, this time. Watch, watch. I'm telling you, I'm gonna sprinkle some ginger magic in the air. Conga. Conga, okay. Let's go, guys. We'll see you on the ride. You're row nine, baby. <sighs> row nine. We didn't get Congo. No. We my got magic, I ran. My, my juju's a little off. I tried, but it's okay. Still a good song. Yes. And you guys are never going to believe this. I think I've converted Samantha to be a row niner. I got off of the ride and I was like, okay, that was really fun. It's so, it's so <laughs> much better. It's the row nine. It just becomes more intense. Just if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> so what's the plan now? What are we going to do? We're going to go shopping because it's almost... I think it's seven o'clock. What time is it? So seven o'clock, we'll head to the creation shop. We'll head to Moana. 
and then we will wrap the evening with a few more food items. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right, that's the plan. Let's go. That yeah. one, or do you want... That one's good, because it's kind of long. We have to find the perfect fanny pack. Perfectly centered. Look at that. Yeah. Or just as perfect as you're going to get. So, tote bag. $49.99. I think that one's going to come home with me. You need like all your home good stuff. You can get Disney cups and glasses and coffee mugs and pillows and vases. Bases, however you say it. But one thing in particular that Samantha and I have been looking for for quite some time now is a container for our coffee in the mornings. And right now we have a like an old school Mickey one, but we want something a little bit more modern. A little bit more elegant. Yeah. Especially if we're moving into a nicer place. It's pretty cool. Yeah. How much is that? $29.99. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. I would suspect that'd be like 40 bucks that's a steal i think we need to get this yeah but the thing is though with the weight we're flying disney ships to your home address if you check out you can ask for them to ship it home so let's see if they still offer that service i believe it's free so hold on to that thought and we'll bring you guys to check out yeah we'll find out we'll see home. so disney still offers shipping to your home so really cool tip i just learned something today i didn't know that so we got done with our shopping and we're gonna go visit walt a visit i'm actually kind of excited about this yeah. i'm sitting next to him put my arm around him like a yeah my best friend <laughs> Do you think it's like accurately proportioned? Like that's how big Walt would have been? Maybe. Who's to tell? It was kind of tiny. <laughs> <laughs> it always impresses me how Disney does these like music transfers. We start, we're heading towards Moana. You heard as you were walking in like the Epcot music and then it just fades into like the Moana theme music and you can't even, I don't know how they do it, but it's amazing. <laughs> That's cool. This is awesome. Water in this experience is collected and recirculated. Please do not drink it. Good to know. No. Oh, that's cute. You're like playing a harp. You're basically telling it to go tall. Nice. He is one with the water. I'm the avatar. <laughs> I'm one with all the elements. I see. Oh, you tricked me. I thought you were going to get wet. The Avatar, baby. <laughs> Alright guys, we went to the Honey Bistro in Florida Fresh. We got the chicken and waffles, which was six seventy-five, dollars and we got the Cubano. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's a Cuban sandwich, but they call it the Cubanito. So, I'm a little disappointed in the size of the Cuban sandwich for six fifty, dollars but it's okay. And then here's the chicken. I took a bite out of it. <laughs> she was hungry. I'm hungry. I was waiting for Chris. So, all right, let's dive in. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's at the end of the day. And, it, and, it, and it's like a... Chicken tender. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Three out of ten. <laughs> I like the hot honey on it. Look, I'm gonna say if it was fresh, it's probably gonna be like a six out of ten. Yeah. But because it's not fresh, I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. Care if you guys look. And I, and I get it. It's kind of hard that like you can't really cook this stuff to order. Yeah. Right. So, but there's definitely better options. Yeah. To get for sure. And I think the waffle is actually a cornbread waffle. 
Huh. It's not like like biscuit wall. Yeah. Interesting. All right, so here's the Cubanito. It's basically a Cuban sandwich. So it has your mojo uh, marinated pork, ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, and a, a stone ground mustard sauce. Hmm. So that is significantly better than that chicken really? and waffle. Night and day difference. This is really, really? good. Yeah. This tastes try. like a traditional Cuban. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna give the Cuban sandwich an eight out of 10. I'm giving it a nine out of 10, the Cubano, because it's really good. There was a good amount of meat in there. I think the cheese was good. I think the bread was nice. Now the reason why I give it an eight is I feel like you can get this a little bit more and the bread was just a little too crispy crunchy for my liking. But other than that, the flavors are all there. I mean, that was delicious. You tasted the pickles and the mustard and all that stuff. The so. pickles were like yeah. nice and crisp. Yeah. I, and I love pickles like that. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely get that again. That chicken and waffles though, stay away from that. Unless you unless you like get lucky and they like bring like a fresh batch, I would just stay away from it. It's it's not it's not good. So we decided we're gonna go halfway around the world and we're gonna go to the America Pavilion and pick up a few things there. And time pending, that may be our last booth for today. All right, let's go to USA. It's finally cooled down. It's yes. Not hot. It's still humid. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it too. Magnolia Terrace, our last stop. Okay, I believe this is our last stop on our Flower and Garden food tour. Yeah. Chris, what did we get? So we got the muffaletta. One of my favorite sandwiches, top five. Delicious. And then we got the bananas fosters. Nice. Hey, it looks good. It does look really good. And then I got the um, the beer. It's called Schneider Weiss Love. Weiss beer. It's a German beer. I don't know. It is a German beer. That's interesting. I mean, America is a melting pot of I'm really not wrong. almost every culture. So. Knock my ears off on us. Sorry, there's a concert going on too, by the way. Yeah, so. we we're not sure if you can hear us too well, but we'll do our best. All right. Hot take here. I hate olives, but I love that sandwich. I'm giving, I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. Wow, she despises olives. It's not in your face olive. With the meat and the cheese and the bread all combined, it works really good. And this is gonna sound really dumb, but like the olives aren't as olive-y as like I've had them before. <laughs> I'm shocked that you like this. I really like it. My heart is full that she loves this sandwich. <laughs> I love this sandwich. And I would give it an 8 out of 10 too. Yeah. I'd, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 as well. All right. So do you want to go ahead and get into the uh, banana fosters? Yes. You got to get the first bite. That means it's really good. That's pretty damn good. That's really good. I give it an 8 out of 10, and the reason why it's just shy of like a 9 or a 10 is because ice cream. I think if we had ice cream on this, it would take it to the next level like Ohana bread pudding, but... You're just dishing out like the 8s like it's just <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, threw out a couple... Well, the, the pretzel bread was my 10 out of 10 for today. Shocking. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a 7. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Still really good. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a 7. So for the lack of the background noise, we're gonna finish this. Yeah. And then, sorry guys, I think we're gonna head out. It's getting to that time, we're tired. I think we're gonna just bypass the fireworks. So we'll catch you guys on the Skyliner. All right, that's a wrap on Epcot for this trip. You've been good to us, Epcot. Say bye Epcot Chris. Bye, bye Epcot Chris. <laughs> Good night. Okay.
Okay, Wonderlanders, so if you stayed to the end of this video, thank you. God bless you. <laughs> it's probably a long one, so we really appreciate the watch. And while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe if you are not, because after this video, we still have a couple more on its way. Yeah, we sure do. Yes. So to wrap up things, Chris, what was your top three things of the day? Top three. In no particular order, riding Cosmic Rewind twice. And then I really enjoyed doing the walkthrough through Journey of Water, mm -hmm. the like Moana themed area. And then lastly, oh, having our friend come say hi to us. Yeah, having our Wonderlander come that, say hi. That was so cool, having a Wonderlander out there come up and say hi. I thought that was really cool. I feel blessed. And we also had another couple say hi to us. So yeah. hi to you guys. I'm sorry we didn't catch your names at the Garden Grill, but thank you guys so much for your support. It was a little surreal moment for us. And to yeah. know that we're starting a little community, it really warms my heart. So thank you guys. It's very cool. Yeah. So what about you? What was your top three? What would you say would be your top three? I'm going to say seeing the wall statue. I will say uh, the merch. I love looking at the merch and I got some really cute things. That's the shopaholic in you. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I got that tote bag and you guys saw that at uh, when we filmed the creation shop. Ooh, ooh, let me, I'll show you. I'll just pull it right out. Yeah, I'll just, I'll let's just show, you. show you guys. Bam! Ah, beautiful tote bag. So. Super cool. Yeah, Walt Disney World. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. There's a little slip right here and then there's like two side pockets and then there's a zip and obviously there's a big pouch inside. Uh, $44.99 I believe the price was, but we did get an uh, annual pass holder discount. Nope. $49.99. I stand corrected. Y'all know me. I am a fanny pack freak, so <laughs> damn. I've had my eye on this for like since it came out since it came and I, the collection i think has been out for maybe two to three months and when we were planning our trip we were like yeah that's going on the must buy list yeah so wonderlanders thank you again if you've made it to the end of this video we really appreciate the watch tomorrow we have an early start at animal kingdom and then we're gonna hop to Magic Kingdom for the evening. Magic Kingdom is actually open till 11 p.m. So it's crazy. It's the latest yeah. I've ever heard of being open. Yeah. So we'll we'll see how long we make it. We definitely will break in the middle of the day. We'll come back to the resort yeah. and take a break. We had a break today, but it wasn't as long as I would like it to be. And with that being said, Wonderlanders, thank you again for watching. It really fills our hearts to know that we have so many fans out there that enjoy our content and what we do. And this wouldn't be possible without y'all. And I guess we'll see you tomorrow and see what happens next. Bye. Bye.